People in Octavaha County can now drive a golf cart on some designated roadways. WTVA's Rhea Thornton is live in Starville where she spoke with a few people about how they feel when it comes to the new ordinance. Recently, state lawmakers gave municipalities the opportunity to decide how they wanted to tackle golf carts on public roads. And in last week's board meeting, city leaders in Starkville decided to let the people ride. It's just easier access, quicker access to get off campus. Max Schooler is the general manager of Bulldog Burger, a restaurant in the heart of the cotton district in Starkville. He believes allowing golf carts on the road will be beneficial for his business and for the people of Starkville. You have a lot of people that live around here, especially game day homes and things that would love to be able to top on their golf cart, go down the street and have a bite to eat or get something to drink, you know, or just run off campus real quick. It's a lot easier than trying to fight car traffic. Golf carts usually reach speeds up to 15 miles an hour, so the ordinance does not allow low speed vehicles to be on roads with speed limits over 35 miles an hour or on highways like Highway 12. Mayor of Starkville, Lynn Spruill, helped create the ordinance with the board members. She hopes by adding golf carts as another option of transportation, it will mean a cleaner city overall. They have a lesser footprint. They get better gas mileage, and so if people want to use them and, and get out in them, I think it's a perfectly acceptable uh, option for people if they want to do that. Along with helping the environment, Schooler thinks the golf carts could be a solution to a problem in the district that's been around for a long time. The limited amount of parking that we have here in the Cotton District is a continuous issue. So I think the golf cart ordinance will definitely help with that. You can fit a lot more people in and everything. So we're really excited about it. We're excited to see what's going to happen. For those of you wanting to drive your golf carts on the road, Sproul said you will have to get it registered at the city clerk's office. There is a registration fee, but you'll get a cool decal for your cart. Reporting live in Starkville, Rhea Thornton, WTVA 9 News.